Alright. <clears throat> and what's good, you too? Good, everybody. Um, today we're gonna be uh going over my build. Um, I'm gonna kind of take you through how I made it. Um, and some things that I think I should have changed, and mistakes I kind of made without really paying any attention to. I mean, the build's still good at the end of the day. Um, of course, if we were going to my win percentage and shot percentage, it wouldn't be that great because, you know, I'm not the greatest 2K player, uh, and I'm also running with randoms all the time, so I don't really have a squad to, uh, really help for the win percentage issue. The, sh uh, the shooting percentage issue, I mean, it's more of a three percentage issue, uh, I can still hit the shots. It's just, uh, yeah. It's a little, uh, it's just a little interesting to time my shot. I'm always getting slightly late and slightly early. It's, it's annoying, but I mean, if I was winning, I wouldn't care too much. Uh, for the mid range, I'm shooting about 50% from the mid. Um, I mean, because uh, that's what this build is mainly capable of but uh let's get into the build then let's, let's get into the build um this long long ass loading trains all right now this is probably like uh this is probably like my uh and this is the second build i've uh actually made myself you know and that had to YouTube and stuff to get some ideas or actually um, you know copy somebody else's build um, of course you can always use somebody else's build as a template for your own um, I mean this build is a little bit niche I guess you could say because it fits a style that I like playing um, last uh, 2k23 I've had a uh, I think it was a lockdown defender. I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a lockdown defender. It was more like a 2K19 lockdown. He was 6'10". You know, he could dribble and he could also shoot. You know, if you think back to 2K19, they could dribble and they could shoot. But, you know, you have to know how to time your shot, I guess, to some extent. Because you were able to hit whites in 2K19 pretty easily. Um... But they didn't have a high three-pointer. I think it was only like a 50. I think at most, maybe a 40. Uh, all right, so we're hopping into the build. Um, we're a shooting guard. We chose shooting guard. You can actually choose. I'm pretty sure you could choose point guard. You could probably go small forward with this build too. I'm pretty sure you can make this build at any position that you want to. Uh, I personally chose shooting guard because I like the position shooting guard. And I also like small forward. I mainly go between those two positions. Those are my favorite positions. Uh, I don't really like going point guard, and I don't really like going anything higher, you know, um, unless I'm actually trying to play those positions uh, when I go to threes or maybe uh, rec or something like that. I chose six seven, of course. Um, there's a there's a lot of heights um, you can go with. Normally, I don't really like smaller builds. I did have one small build in two K twenty three, and probably think 2k22 i don't really care for small builds I, I just it's kind of uh i don't know i just don't like my player being small so i always try to go above 6.5 mostly 6.6 six though so we chose 6.7 i went 220 i always like to add weight to my player you know, um no matter what you know i do depending on what i'm making though if i make a lockdown sometimes i do go minimum weight or if i'm trying to make a speedy speedy guard i'm going minimum weight but since uh i was more on the mid-range type game with this build i went 222 uh i think my wingspan is basically minimum i think i went up one i think i think i went up about one i possibly went up about one all right um now, as you can see, this is the build, how I built the player. I didn't max out my speed, of course, because, you know, you ne don't necessarily need, you know, 90 plus speed, 85 plus speed, if you can keep up with everybody. I've had no trouble so far keeping up 
with most smaller guards, especially the ones that uh, that used a lot of screens and the ones that run around the court. I've had no problem with it. Um, I gotta say, the problem I've had have had with this um, build is probably keeping up with guards that can blow by you to some extent and get to the rim. I mean, it's not too hard, but sometimes they do get past you. Uh, so I do have 85 perimeter defense. That's the only defensive stat I really um, upgraded. It's all right. It actually works pretty good. I'm able to lock up most guards unless, you know, they're going to the rim. I have zero interior defense. I legit can't guard paint, but I do get stops on some bigger builds sometimes because I'm there. So uh, it does work. I did max out my acceleration because, you know, acceleration does matter. Um, I didn't max out my strength. I feel like I could have maxed it out, but I didn't want to do too much with the strength. So I just put it up to 74, where it was enough to get bronze bulldozer, because a bulldozer is as good as it was hyped up to be, and strength is as good as it was hyped up to be then it should work to a little extent. I didn't want to go full out on bulldozer on this build and it not and it does not work how it's supposed to or how they claimed it to work. So, I mean, I have got some uh animations with the bulldozer with some layups and some dunks. <coughs> and then uh vertical, we went up to an 80. Um yeah, we we just put that to an 80. I always like uh, having some vertical, but you know, it really doesn't matter to me because uh, I didn't really upgrade any of my blocks or anything. So I just put my vertical up for the driving dunk in this case. Stamina, put it to 96. Uh, as you can see, these are the badges you get once you do all that. So now, speed with ball, I didn't max it out all the way because there's no point of maxing it all the way out. So I put it to 80. 91 ball handle. I think, what was it you get at 91? It was, yeah. Handles for days, you get gold. Um, then we put pass accuracy to 73. Honestly, my pass accuracy right now is not fully upgraded. I got it on a 60, I think it is. And I can pass pretty perfectly. The animations are a little slow. Um, but it works. It gets you uh, through the games. You, I rarely get any turnovers when it comes to passing. I still get a decent amount of assists. So it's really not a problem, and you get dime or silver. I mean, if you want to go higher, you can. Um, I personally don't. I personally think you don't need th that much pass accuracy unless you're a passer and you're heavy on the passing. Uh, maybe a guard, you know, that needs to be bailed out a little bit more, might need the uh, pass accuracy. I don't really need pass accuracy because I feel like there's very low chances of me needing to bail out of a shot or something uh so i i didn't go any higher uh free throw i put my free throw to 71 uh it gives me three points a badge i like to play wreck and things of that nature where free throws are necessary of course i don't really know if you could go lower and still hit all your free throws honestly free throw just seems useless because honestly i have yet to green a free throw i feel like you know it's just I got a 71 free throw and I'm still missing them even if I feel like I timed them right. So, <coughs> All right, now we got three-pointer. For the three-point, I put to an 80. Uh, as you can see, uh, I think I get blinders and catch and shoot and dead eye, mainly from my mid-range shot. I more, I more like to do the uh, the fades from the mid-range, post-fades. Uh, post, um, and things like that. I, I really like the mid-range game. I also like slashing a lot. And from uh, 2K23, I also love defense. It's just defense was not that great in 2K23, uh, in my opinion. But I, I do like defense. I like finishing. And I like shooting the mid-range. I could care less about anything else. But uh, so we put it to a 91. Three-point shot, we put to an 80. I feel like I can hit with uh, a little bit lower than the 80. I'd probably go with a 76, maybe 79, but that wasn't the case with this because it's still a little risky because even with an 80, I'm not doing too great. I think I took more of a 2K23 advantage when it came to shooting or perspective when it came to shooting because in 2K23, I had like low 70s for three-pointers and I was greening pretty good. Um, so I put it to an 80. It's been all right. 
I've been able to hit shots, especially when I need to hit shots in tough game situations where we're down a couple points or we're in a tight spot. I've been able to come out and hit a couple shots. So, and lead our team to victory. So, um, then we put the mid range shot up. Because I like doing the post fades. Of course, you don't need a 91 mid range shot to hit post fades and uh, and uh, any type of fades uh, off the dribble and things of that nature. But if you want to shoot somewhat contested, I feel like 91 is still pretty good. Um, and I enjoy being able to hit anything because I legit almost hit anything in the mid range area, depending on what I do. I can make mistakes and still end up hitting the shot. So. Um, now for post control, uh, I put it to um, 85. Of course, you get your badges, you know, like post fade. I'm not even, fan, fan, I'm not even gonna say that. Just post post fade. So you get post fade Hall of Fame. I already have the badge on Hall of Fame, which is it's a very good badge in my opinion. Uh, it's a niche badge, of course, but uh, it works pretty good. I hit all my post fades most of the time, depending on what I'm doing. Timing is a situation, but I can still hit my shots when needed. Uh, you get post spin technician, post playmaker, back down punisher, and unpluckable. I'm pretty sure you can get unpluckable from this. I don't know which one I got unpluckable from. I'm, I want to say it was probably this. Yeah, I probably got unpluckable from this. But, um, yeah, I mean, every badge seems to work pretty good. Um, so... We're going to get to the mistakes. I'm just going to jump over and get to the mistakes. Driving dunk was probably a mistake I made. I think I did have 87 driving dunk. And I put it back down to 8. I think 87 I meant to say. And I put it back down to 86. Um, I didn't realize at the time that I needed contact dunks. To get contact dunks, I needed an 87. So I didn't. I went into the game and looked at the animations. But I guess I glanced past it without paying attention. And by that time, I've already upgraded my player. And so we ended up with 86 instead of 87. So we didn't get any contact dunks. So if you wanted contact dunks and you don't play rec or anything, I guess you could go low on the free throw. And then, let's see. Yeah. You would have to bring your mid-range shot down to a 90. And then you can go up to a driving dunk of 87. And then you can put the last couple points in whatever you want to. You can bring this back up and put it all in your uh, free throw. I don't know. Something else might have went down, to be honest. I, I didn't see. But uh, you can do that. Uh, honestly, that's probably what I would do if I was to remake this build. But since I'm already a 91, 92, basically, I'm not going to do any of this. So we're just going to put that back to how it was. Uh, then we got an 80 driving layup. I feel like I just needed to have an 80 driving layup. It was more like I'm not that tall of a build. And if for some reason uh, I just don't get a dunk animation or something like that and it forces me into a driving layup, I can probably still time it and get a green. So that's basically my uh, idea of making this build. It's a very um, niche build, you know. When it comes to the mid-range, I feel like dribbling, you get very decent dribbling animations. Uh, I guess I'll go through those and show you my animations. Uh, give me a sec. Let me go back to the main uh, my player. <coughs> yeah, we've been on that My Career, which is a little interesting. Uh, it's an easy way to grind badges, I feel like. So... As you can see, we just, I don't know, I thought we hit 92, I guess not. So as you can see, the badges, and now we got post fade, Hall of Fame, off ball pest, which I feel like I've always used off ball pest in 2K23 and all, uh, in most 2Ks. I feel like it works pretty good when uh, you're guarding somebody off ball and they try to cut uh, to the back, uh, to the rim, uh, what's it called? I don't know, I forgot, but... When they try to cut to the rim, it works pretty good. I feel like it even helps with steals sometimes. Um, I, honestly, the 2K23, I got a lot of steals, passing lanes and things of that nature. Using off-ball pass without interceptor. So I, I don't know. It's, it's a very interesting badge in my opinion. Um, 
We got dead eye silver. I'm trying to get his gold. No. Oh, we got this right now. We just uh kind of just do it there for right now. Of course we put immunity on post pay because that's a badge that I use sometimes, not every single time. It depends on who I'm playing with. Alright, so let's go to the animations. Alright, so for free throw, we're running Michael Jordan. Alright, it's just easier to, uh, I think I had, um, I don't know who I had. I think I had Kobe Bryant. This is either Kobe Bryant or free throw set. No, I had Kobe Bryant. We had Kobe Bryant on. I just wasn't able to hit free throws like I wanted to. So I'm putting on Michael Jordan. Uh, even if I don't time them right, they still mostly go in. Layup style, we haven't got one yet because we haven't maxed out our layup. Uh, dunk style, I think we're only running like a couple dunks. Uh, I know LeBron James is one of them. Uh, then we're running like quick drops. Uh, not quick drops, but uh, like off ones or something like that. Uh, we got Kobe Bryant for a dribble pull up. We got the pro spin jumper. Kobe Bryant for a hop jumper. Kobe Bryant for a post fade. Uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar and Kobe Bryant. And then Michael Jordan's motion style. Uh, yeah. We would have went for like Kawhi Leonard or something like that. But I feel like Michael Jordan works pretty decent. <coughs> now for Pesto, we just got fundamental. It's not like I don't get any other pass styles, I don't think. So we're just gonna stick with fundamental. You got G Gabby Williams, and these are my dribble moves. Uh, of course, you know, I have to go on YouTube to find some. I'm not that much of a dribble head, so I don't really like, you know, going into the Gatorade facilities and testing out other dribble moves just to see. But if there's something that I don't feel is right, I will change it myself if there's nothing I can do and fit, you know, to fit my style a little bit more. But these work a little good. These work pretty good. They work perfect in my opinion. So, um, I guess we'll get into the jump shot. We technically got two. Uh, I've used this one the most, the uh, U jump shot. Let's load this up real quick. <coughs> and you can see we got Scotty Pimpin's base, Scotty Pimpin's upper release, and Kyle Corver with the release speed of 82.18 for our jump shot. Uh, this is the main jump shot I use. It, it's actually pretty good. Uh, as you can see, we have A minus release speed, uh, release height is an A, defense immunity is an A, and timing stability is a C plus. Um, honestly, I have no problem timing it most of the time, so I don't think there's going to be an issue. And uh, let's go on to the next jump shot. Let me do that. Alright, this one. I still haven't really used it yet uh, that much. But I have Clyde Drexler, Luka Doncic, Jimmy Butler at 60 40 with release speed. Uh, honestly, I was thinking of moving the release speed up. It really depends on how I feel. I most likely am going to move it up when I decide to go use it though. But I mean, you can do uh, whatever. Yeah, you can do um, whatever when it comes to that. So, let's see. Then, for your release timing, I personally use, um, what is it? I forgot what it's called. I personally use push. I feel like it, it's really good, but at the end of the day, it's more of a personal preference. But I feel like push is really good with most jump, set, most jump shots that I've seen and used. Um, of course, you can try these other ones. I, I just can't get used to the, all the other ones. Push is, you know, the most easiest of time for me when it comes to fades, post fades, um, shooting off the dribble, contested. You know, it works pretty good all around. So I like the, uh, the push uh, release. Let's see if there's anything else. Of course, outside the belt, we haven't finished our quest. For the affiliation, we are joining Rise, of course. That's what we're trying to do. But getting assist is insane when no one else can... Uh, no one really hits their shots. So, when that's the case, you know, it's, it's not it's not really good. So, I think we got most of them done, though. Let's see. I think we got most of it done. 
Yeah, we just need um, basically 40 more. Uh, not 40. Oh my god. 20. Around like 20 uh, more assists. Alright. Um, now, of course, I have all of these jump shot boosts. I've spent like 15,000 on jump shot boost. You always want to have jump shot boost. You know, I was hitting without jump shot boost, but I have more off and ons without jump shot boost. With jump shot boost, I hit more consistently. Um, I don't really have much problems with shooting when I have jump shot boost on. I think, you know, if you have the VC, you should definitely uh, get jump shot boost when you play the game. If you're, if you're, I don't recommend you spend money to get jump shot boost, but if that's what you want to do, you do you. Um, overall, this is the build that I've made. Shot creating three level threat. It's honestly, like I said, a very niche build to some aspect, but I feel like anybody that's good can get on the build and do a lot better than what I've done with the build and they can change whatever they want to to fit them a little bit more um yeah i mean that's about it so we're gonna leave it at that uh, i'll come out with another video i guess i'll drop another video probably the, maybe a rec game that i've had or some park games that i've played also might make some other videos maybe madden or something like that but if you are interested in those things uh, like and subscribe and um, yeah I'll catch y'all the next time peace out